What's up everybody? This is gonna be a very quick tutorial demonstration of how to export your Koala sampler uh, sequences into Zenbeats, right? I recently got a, a question um, f from somebody who saw one of my older videos and they, they asked just this, how do I record my Koala audio into Zenbeats? So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is load in Koala Sampler as an instrument, right? Uh, and you can do that right from the start menu of Zenbeats or of course you could always just press the plus button, instrument track, yada yada, right? And then load in Koala as an AUV3, okay? The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set the tempo to whatever project you had in Koala uh, that you had sequenced, you're gonna to wanna to set the tempo to the same tempo, of course, right? So I had something going on uh, at 80 BPMs. This is just something that I grabbed from Splice, right? Just put a bunch of loops together. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is just choose, in Koala Sampler, just choose the, um, the, the, uh, um, the sequence that you wanted to play, right? So just make sure that that's ready to go, okay? Now, let's see here. Uh, so the next thing you wanna do is press play and see if that sequence does in fact play. And it does, okay. So here's the part where it gets fun. We're gonna add another track. This is how we're gonna uh, export our audio or get the audio from Koala Sampler into Zen beats as separate audio tracks that that then you can you know add effects and chop up and arrange and do all the fun stuff you can do in Zen beats and of course you have access to all the wonderful rolling sounds and stuff so anyways <clears throat> this is how you do it you're going to want to press the plus sign add an audio track okay so Another thing that you have to make sure that you're doing here is that you have to be in the timeline view, okay? So, the one thing that I know about this particular sequence is that it is four bars long, right? So, and let's just get out of here. Um, so now we're gonna wanna go over here to this track, right? So every time you're gonna do this, you're gonna see one of these brackets for a sequence we don't need to put anything in there. In fact, we should just leave it blank, okay? So now we're gonna go four bars, boom, okay? Let's X out of here. Now in the uh, audio track, all we need to do at this point is just drag this empty, oh wait, we're gonna wanna expand this to four bars, sorry. That's the other thing here. So expand that to four bars. If you go any further, it's gonna cut and it's gonna create a new loop. We don't want that. We just want the four bars of audio that would normally play if we just press the play, right? But what this is gonna do is it's gonna resample all of this down to an audio track. So all we're gonna do here is just drag this track over here and boom, audio. So now we can just solo this track out, this audio track and that's what we have, right? So now we can get creative, all right? So we can just totally, uh, let's just delete this and say if I just wanted to grab the drums from this uh, Koala track, we'll just go over here and we'll uh, go to the, um, oh wait, do I have the mute? Sorry, I'm using a different phone that I usually don't use here. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Extras, yeah, show MIDI, uh, show mute groups. Okay, cool. So all I want is a drum. So let's just mute uh, this and wait, I'm gonna mute those, okay? Let's get out of here. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do here is now we're just grabbing the drums. So we're just gonna drag this down over here and boom. So now all we have is drums. So, you can just do this over and over again. Mute the stuff that you don't want in that track uh, uh, on your Koala sampler. Mute the stuff that you don't want. Bounce down just the drums or just the samples or whatever. And this is how you record the audio from Koala sampler into uh, Zen Beats as audio tracks, right? Like I said, this is super fast. This is faster than AUM because in AUM you would have to sit through 
uh, the actual live recording of it. You don't have to do that with this. Unfortunately, once again, this method does not work with uh, Android devices. Uh, no, no AUV3 for Android. No way to route another uh, app's audio into another app and vice versa. So, uh, which is a real bummer. But you can get away with a lot with a ZR1 uh, just in, in Zen Beats alone. But yeah, uh, if you're a koala uh, devotee like I am here, um, this is a great way to just stem out your audio. Uh, so you can uh, quickly start adding stuff to it, you know, with, with the awesome rolling sounds and stuff like that and Zen beats.